Okay, everyone, thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I really, really appreciate it. Let me move over. I do not feel like closing the door, but I don't want to miss it, okay? But thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel. I really, really appreciate it, you guys. And if you guys are enjoying my messages, like, comment, subscribe, and share. We just hop straight into it. Mm. First one, when the last time you did something for yourself? Remember that like that. When the last time you did something for yourself? Think freely to be heard. Don't get heard to be free. Fear. Feelings evolved around regret. Allow what was to be and what is to happen to you. What happened for you, I'm sorry. Allow what was to be and what is to happen for you. A simple conversation can change your destination. So right off the bat, what I'm already getting, what I'm already feeling is you're not fully doing what you want to do. I could be talking to myself. I could be talking to some energies that's around me, whatever. But you're not doing what you want for you. Why? What is stopping you from doing what it is that you want to do? Think. Think. Just think about it. Some things you don't have to say. If you already know, like you come into a, a space and you already felt when you walk in, you ain't got to say nothing. What you talking about? Ain't nothing to say. And it's like, that's kind of what it is. Sometimes we really have to look at the picture and its entirety. And when I say picture, I mean the picture of ourselves and its entirety. You did this in your life. Why? What made you do X, Y, and Z? And when was the last time you did something for yourself? Because you keep doing things for other people. What about you? Love on you. Don't be afraid of it. Allow what was to be what it what it was. Because that's the past tense, what it was. Okay? That's like what I'm that's what I'm getting. And it's like the com and it's like the simple conversation that can change your destination. It's that conversation you gotta have with yourself. Literally, it be like that. And no lie, that'd be the hardest conversation to have. The conversation with yourself. You may never fit into a crowd where being is too great for. A person's judgment of you does not define who you are. My bad. You may never fit into a crowd where being is too great for. A person's judgment of you does not define who you are. 
And don't stress the things you can't change. So what I'm feeling is even family. I said that hard. I felt that. Like, even family. Family. That job. That situationship. That relationship. Whatever. That friendship. Whatever. Like, if something is... If something is moving you to some place else, like a whole different everything, you know, like it's it's big. That's why I did like that. It's big because I see it's big. It's big, <laughs> and you downplay yourself because you're not doing stuff for you. We let Sandy do something for yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like. So you, you downplay yourself to fit into a crowd. I always use this. I always use the highlighter. Man, I got a test today, man. This is an example. I got a test today. All I got is a highlighter. Dang. I need a pencil. But it's all writing, right? But you can take notes on it, right? You can still, you know, get your point across with a highlighter, right? You can still... Look at your your important notes, right? This highlighter won't work on no test. This highlighter can't pick up on no machine. So you need another utensil. You need another form of ink. So if you see that you're moving into something that's unknown, unfamiliar, yet familiar. And the only reason it's familiar is because it's a part of the same group. Now you can't use this highlighter. You now gotta go find a pen or a pencil, depending on what kind of test this is. You know? So don't allow people to judge you because now you're putting your highlighter down. And you're picking up a pen or a pencil because you're ready. You're always ready. Don't allow people's judgment to dictate how you move in your life. They're not living your life. You're living your life for you. There's a vision, a goal, and a focus, and a reason you wake up. And move the way that you move. Okay? I'm learning. I'm getting it together to look at the camera. It, you know. But yeah. It's a reason. You know what I mean? Like, remember that. Waking up is a gift in itself. Perfect. Like, this is just like the perfect affirmation and perfect closing. I pace myself when I am uncertain. Literally. Stop. Sit down. Talk. Get yourself right. See what the next steps is. Listen. Have faith that where you're going is where you need to be. Where you're going is where you want to be so that you will be able to go to the next step. And when I just said that, my ears started ringing. As I'm saying something right. I'm, me personally, I really don't know how to ask for help. I don't know how to ask for assistance. So what I do is just pray. And that is the only thing that's been like my comfort. And wake up, I smile, I do my thing, I go out and I come back. That's a flex. 
a big flex. So, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and stop there, you guys. But don't forget to do something for yourself. Bump what everybody got to say. Quiet the noise. Quiet the music. Get yourself right. And allow you to unwind to you. Okay? But, all right, you guys. I'm going to close it. I'm going to end it for real, for real. And, um, yeah. We on one more. Um, we probably on one more of these. But I don't know. I'm going to see you. But, <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you guys for rocking with me, chilling with me, vibing out, and I'll see you guys in another video. All right, bye.